Now, now we have with us Mr. Gyanendra Mishra, uh, the Nepalese. And now we have with us Ms. Hanie Mohani from Iran. She's a United Nations Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues. She's the Vice Chair and Expert Member of the UN Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues. She's from Iran and we have with us here uh, at uh, Colombo. And uh, Ms. Uh, Mohani, in Sri Lanka you're here and in Colombo you have been discussing roundtable discussions, forums and many, many discussions here uh, according at the, at the fifth forum here in Colombo. What were the key pointers that you think uh, will be vital uh, and discussed here in Colombo as well as uh, what are the key pointers that you think will be great to the betterment of the world and the planet of course? Yes. At first thank you, That's, uh, thanks to uh, Sri Lanka for hosting us and also thanks to UNEP. Um, one of the things, uh, the key points uh, were mentioned here was about uh, community-based and nature-based solution. But for getting this scale, we need to um, communicate more and to have more dialogue with um, grassroots people local people and also, and especially indigenous people and youth. And uh, I hope uh, in the future we can have more dialogue, especially with indigenous people, about how they are facing climate change and other, um, other problems in our planet. Because we, in our indigenous knowledge, we have so many solutions for that. And uh, the other thing is that uh, it is also underestimated, especially in this level, is uh, talking about financing. When we talk about uh, no one should left behind, we should mean it. No one should left behind. By, but uh, in financing, um, there are almost 30 countries which um, 10 of them are located in our region, in Asia. They are um, affecting by unilateral coercive measures, which are, um, which, are, which are some kind of sanctions which is illegal in international law. And we are affecting by these kind of sanctions. So um, in this regard, I hope uh, the government of Asia um, focus on this issue, especially uh, because uh, 10 countries in our region are affected by these kind of sanctions. And the people in grassroots level, um, small scale farmers, and also indigenous people are affected by these kind of act of bullying in international level. Yes. I think uh, you touched upon a very different aspect uh, uh, compared to all the others. So I think it's a great uh, a chance to all the people who should know these uh, uh, certain uh, issues that are not coming up uh, in the mainstream uh, media as well. And one final notice, how do you feel about being in Sri Lanka and any uh, takeaways here back home? Um, you have uh, one of the most beautiful countries in the world. And I hope um, you, um, I mean, um, um, the government of Sri Lanka listen uh, to the grassroots um, level of people. And um, you can have more conversation with indigenous people in your country. Because as I understood, as I have so many dialogue with your indigenous people, they are very knowledgeable and they know exactly what uh, climate change um, is and how it is affecting in their, on their um, livelihood and on their life. Yes. I think uh, that's a very wonderful brief we had with uh, Ms. Uh, Hani Emogani from Iran and uh, joining us here in Colombo. We hope you have a wonderful time ahead in Sri Lanka and of course uh, we hope to see you back here soon with some beautiful memories. Thank you.